how to crochet the single crochet cluster stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Pacific Teal. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, single crochet two together. To begin this stitch, you'll need to create a foundation chain in multiples of two plus one, and then we'll add another stitch for the base chain. Row one. Beginning on the wrong side of our work, we'll do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. Then we're going to start our repeat by chaining one, and we will skip one chain stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So we'll skip this one, single crochet into the next one, and then we'll repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Row two. After we've turned our work, we're going to chain one. Then we'll do a single crochet into the first stitch. That's the one right below our chain one. Then we are going to do a single crochet two together, inserting our hook into each of the next two chain spaces. So this is gonna be in this space and this space. So the single crochet two together, we're gonna insert our hook and draw through. Then we're going to insert our hook into the next space and draw through. And then we're gonna yarn over and draw through all three loops on our hook together. So that's a single crochet two together. All right, now we are going to chain one. Wait, did we chain one back here? We didn't. We are supposed to chain one before we do our single crochet two together. So let's do that. So we did our single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, then single crochet two together over the next two chain spaces. So remember, these are the spaces in between our single crochets in the previous row. Okay, then we will chain one. And now we'll start our repeat by doing a single crochet two together. We'll insert the hook into the same space as the previous single crochet two together. So this last one we just did, we're gonna insert that again, yarn over and draw through, then we'll go into the next chain space yarn over, draw through, and then we will yarn over and draw through all three loops together. So we're kind of overlapping our stitches as we go. Okay, and then we'll chain one again, and we'll repeat this all the way across until the last stitch in our row. And when we reach our last repeat in the row, we're going to do a single crochet into the last stitch from the previous row. Okay, we're gonna skip the turn chain and then we'll turn our work. Row three, we're gonna begin by chaining one, then we'll do a single crochet into our first stitch, which is the one right below our chain one. Okay, then we're gonna start our repeat by chaining one. We will skip the next chain one and we'll single crochet into the next stitch. So here is our chain one here and we are going to single crochet into this stitch which looks kind of elongated because it's the R single crochet three together. So chain one, we're gonna skip the next chain which is this stitch right here in between the single crochet two togethers, then single crochet into the next stitch. All right, so we'll be single crocheting into the tops of the single crochet two together, which again, look a little bit elongated. All right, and we'll repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. So we're gonna repeat rows two and three until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the single crochet cluster stitch. 
After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.